Well, I always want to know exactly what the problem is in a situation like that, and it appears that there's a conflict between uh, God's goodness and God's power. If he was good, he'd want to get rid of all evil in the world, and if he was powerful, he'd be able to, but evil exists, and therefore he's either not good or he's not powerful. And I think there's a misunderstanding here. I actually don't think it has anything to do with power, and it has something to do with goodness, but in a different kind of fashion. God created a certain kind of world. He created a world in which there were morally free creatures. Now, I think that's a good thing. I think this reflects that God is an all-wise God. It is a good thing in the world to have creatures that are morally free, as opposed to animals for whom morality doesn't apply at all. Uh, creatures can't be bad, but they can't be good either. So it's kind of a push there. Nothing good comes of this. Human beings can be bad and they can be good. There's a possibility for great evil, but there's a potential for great good when you have moral freedom. Now here's the catch. Power has nothing to do with the problem of evil given that scenario. I was in the Ukraine uh, earlier this year and I was teaching a bunch of Christians on, on some of these issues. We were talking about the problem of evil. And there's a big burly guy in the front of the room. His name was Vitaly. And uh, I said, Vitaly, come on up here. I've got a paper clip. You're a big, strong guy. Bend this paper clip into a square. So he grabbed the paper clip and, of course, did a good job of bending it into a square. I said, okay, now bend this paper, paper clip into a circle. Well, that was a little more difficult, but he, he worked with it for a little while. We got kind of the resemblance of a circle. I said, fine, you did it. Okay, now I want you to bend it into a square circle. Of course, he couldn't do that. He paused. This is silly. I said, why not? You're a big, strong guy, aren't you? The point is here, there are some uh, problems or some issues or some things that we're confronted with that are not susceptible to power to solve because they're a different kind of problem. God is all powerful. That means he has all the power he needs to do anything that power can do, but there are some problems that power can't solve, and this is one of them. Could God, through power, remove all evil from the world today? Sure, that would be easy, but what he'd have to do is he'd have to destroy something good, and that means he would have to destroy morally free creatures because moral freedom just is the possibility to do evil or good, you cannot create a morally free creature that has no possibility of going south on you. This is not possible. It's like a square circle. Power has nothing to do with it. It's rather the kind of universe God chose to create. Now, could he have, could he have chosen to create a different universe? Sure, he could have. But it would be bereft of something really wonderful and good, morally free creatures, of which you and I are, are, are among them.